guys, welcome to another recap of The Amazing Race. So they were in Moscow, they're getting on a plane, and they're going to the capital of this country. And it was Amsterdam, because the country was Holland. And Train Lexi actually thought that they were going to Paris for a few minutes, until the chippies told them that it was not Paris. <laughs> Alright, so there was a whole bunch of different flights and connections. The Chippendales, I could have sworn that they said that they were arriving at 1045 direct, but they didn't arrive till later on. Trey, they had a direct flight. Uh, Trey and Lexi had a connection. They were supposed to arrive at 1 o'clock-ish. The Twinnies, Twinny, <laughs> they had a connection also, and they were supposed to be arriving at 1130. So, basically, the top three teams that would be the Chippies, the Twinnies, and Trey and Lexi all made a deal that if there was a U-turn coming up, and if it was a double U-turn, the first team to the U-turn would backstab Abby and Ryan and U-turn them, and then the second team there would U-turn the first team so that they would block out the Beekman boys, because obviously they were in last place, from, you know, they just wanted to get rid of Abby and Ryan. So, Abby and Ryan actually booked two flights that were connecting, and um, two connecting flights. And they were either supposed to arrive at 12.05 or 2. So, the Beekman boys, they're arriving at like 4. It's fast forward time. <laughs> The Van Gogh Cafe, or if you're in Amsterdam, the Van Gogh Cafe. Uh, the Twinnies got there first. They decided that they were going to give it a shot. You had to get on this boat bus. And well, it was like the duck tours, you know, in the United States that we have here. But in order to get the fast forward, you had to eat five herring each in the time it took for the bus tour, which was seven minutes. Well, when the bus tour was in the water anyway. Abby and Ryan, in the meantime, missed their flight, and then when they got on the second flight that they booked, mechanical difficulties, so that was delayed. So they actually arrived at the airport at the same time as the Beekman boys. So the Chippies decided, well, we should try the fast forward. Oh, it's too late. So the next part was the boat to the food boat. <laughs> There's a lot of canals in uh, Amsterdam. So the food boat was basically like a fried dough cart, but on a boat. And they got to eat a snack and then got their next clue, which was a detour. It was either back in time or organ grind. Back in time was uh, these actors and the teams dressed up, and they had to recreate the Rembrandt painting Night Watch. Uh, Abby and Ryan did that, and the Beekman boys did that. It seemed easier than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult, but they seem to have done it pretty easily. Organ grind was you had to find one of three organ grinder carts, and one person did the grinding and the other person did the begging. You had to get 30 euros. So the chippies uh, were the first to do that, and it kind of wasn't that easy. So the shirts came off and the collars went on. Cuffs and collars, boys. <laughs> I love that. They're like, oh, we had our cuffs and collars. So the guys lined up to give them some euros. <laughs> I found it kind of weird that more, it seemed like more guys were giving them tips than girls, but whatever. It's Amsterdam. So everybody else did that. Uh, Next part, museum. That's where the double U-turn was. So the chippies arrived first to the double U-turn and they were agonizing over whether they should do it or not because it's not cool. Uh, they did decide to do it because they decided that, you know, as a group. So they U-turned Abby and Ryan. And Trey and Lexi, when they got there, they were like, yeah, they did the dirty work, so now we're going to uh, U-turn the chippies. So when Abby and Ryan got there, they were kind of hurt because they thought that the chippies were their friends. So they had to go back and do the grinder. And the Beekmans, 
you know, they were doing the painting, you know, the Rembrandt thing together, and then they were like, well, maybe we should go back and help them. Nah. <laughs> they felt bad, but, you know, what are you going to do? So it's roadblock time. It was ditch vaulting. Now, they've had this on The Amazing Race before, and it's been really difficult for certain teams. But this one, vault, get your wooden shoes, throw them over, vault back. Super easy for everyone, except Ryan. It took him a few times, and, what, and Josh. I think he hurt his ankle doing it. So, Pit Stop was the house of Rembrandt's mistress. Only in Amsterdam. Natalie and Nadia came in first because they did the fast forward and they did it successfully on the first try. When I saw them start and it took them so long to eat the first herring, I didn't think they were ever going to be able to do it, but they actually got it on the first try. So they also won $5,000 each. Not too freaking shabby. That was a good leg to win first place. James and James came in second. Trey and Lexi came in third. Josh and Brent came in fourth, and when they came in, they were all like, Oh, Phil, we're sorry, you know, we feel bad for Abby and Ryan. And Phil's like, Well, if you want me to eliminate you, we can always put the other guys through. Oh, no, 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 never mind. <laughs> and then Abby and Ryan came in last, and they were eliminated. It sucks. I, you know, I was never a big fan of the U-turns, uh, but it's a hazard in the game. What are you going to do? Next time, uh, when they go to Spain, Josh's ankle is messed up. It's hard for him to play tennis. Ooh, give me tennis. <laughs> and Lexi, she hurts her finger bullfighting. Ugh, sounds painful. Till next time, much love.